Hey everyone, time for some organic chemistry. In this video, I'm going to be showing a dehydrogenation reaction. And what I'm going to be dehydrogenating is acetylene. So acetylene gas is the molecule seen here. It's a hydrogen bonded to a carbon, triple bonded to another carbon, bonded to a hydrogen. It's used in welding torches. And dehydrogenation is a reaction where you take the hydrogen atoms off of the molecule. So the reaction is seen here. Chlorine gas meets acetylene gas, and the products are hydrogen chloride and carbon. So how I'm going to be doing this reaction is by generating chlorine in the Erlenmeyer flask using the standard hydrochloric acid potassium permanganate mixture. The chlorine is going to bubble into the test tube. It's full of water. Uh, calcium carbide will be added to the bottom of the test tube and produces acetylene gas. And when the acetylene gas meets the chlorine gas, the reaction will happen, producing carbon and hydrogen chloride. I would expect to see um, a lot of black carbon coming out of the top, and the reaction is pretty exothermic and might light the highly flammable acetylene gas. So I'm going to get back to you after the hydrochloric acid has been added to the Erlenmeyer flask, and calcium carbide has been added to the test tube. Chlorine gas is being produced, and now calcium carbide is added. Instantly, uh, the acetylene lights, and you can see down here the flashes of the acetylene burning. Lots of black carbon is being produced at the top. I don't know how you can see on camera, but this orange flashes, flashes of light on the bottom of the glass tube. A thick black layer of carbon is built up at the top. More calcium carbide is added. Reaction appears to be slowing to a stop. All right, now that is a really simple example of a dehydrogenation reaction. Thanks for watching.